y'all doing tonight? first time performing this song it's called go actually gonna be on my new album called nobody likes me thank you all vibe I'm Ray let's get ready to make a cocktail for schoolie and I think we're gonna call it feeling like it because that's exactly how you're gonna feel when you have a couple sips of it we're gonna start with some house-made grenadine it's literally just pomegranate juice and sugar boil then we're gonna go to some pineapple juice a little bit of orange juice and finish off with some Hennessy so one of the key elements to this drink is the grenadine, but if you're like me, you don't like anything too sweet, so I decided to make my own. Instead of using cherry juice, I did pomegranate juice because it has a slight bitterness to it, and I boiled it with some sugar. Then I added an orange zest just for a little bit of citrus. Now 
how you have your drink. Take a couple sips so you can be feeling like it too. Stay tuned for another performance by Schooly. Okay, Clax, play some shit you would never play. Like, find a sound on that month, some stupid shit. Just some chickens or something. Just a sound you would never <laughs> use. Some, a sound, sound you would never, never play. use. S something you would never play. Yeah, some shit you would never play. Tap that, into the part of your keyboard you have yet to that use. That shit that you ain't never used. Play the electric violin or some shit. <laughs> some stupid shit. Some shit you have no use for as a black man. Boy, we sound like we on Sesame Street. I was about that to say, that's some like kids that. show shit right yeah, there. Yeah, give me that. Yeah, that, now you cooking. Yeah, I like that. What I told you. Yep. Hey, I can't send my kids outside. That ain't what that is. You know what that is? What's that? That's in the house and I'm walking around naked. That's some shit like that. In the house and I'm walking around naked. That's some real adultery. That's real adulterous right there. Yes, indeed. Bow, 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 bow. Kick that boom bap, Chico. You ain't got no boom bap. You don't know how to boom bap. Boom. You ain't kick it old school like we used to. What's door? <laughs> you don't got no boom bap rap. You're crazy. Listen, check it out. Tell me or something. In the house tonight, it is me, and I'm here on the one, two, and the three. You see me kicking it with my homeboy Carlos. My nigga Clax playing unusual notes. And it's going down, not going up. If you play with the team, then you get beat up. Said yes, indeed, not no can do. Hey, Carlos, I'm about to pass that flow to you. I said one more time, no, one more again. Getting drunk with the bartender, drinking gin. When I came in the set, man, I came so hard. I had everybody looking like, oh my God. If I pull this rod, man, the party gon' jump. Every time you see me, I'm always rolling up some. I'm about to smoke with a freak. I'm about to drink with this chick. I'm about to go outside and about to talk some more shit. You about to talk some more shit? Don't pull out your rod. I got a bitch with me. We drinking on that Carlos Bernard. And we is twisted. Yes, indeed, we lifted. If you're in the building, then I know you're probably with it. it Two chicks with me, you know we gon' ball. We stopped by the store and got some Anthony Jamal. We had two cups, so we drinking out the bottle. She put some makeup on and she thinking she a model. She no. thinking she a model, but she look like a man. But it don't really matter, she still got her only fans. And niggas be subscribing, cause she make videos. Salute to all the thump down top notch hoes. Hey, top notch hoes, don't forget about the bottom. We got some ugly booger wolves here. Still got them. They gonna pull up cause we don't give a fuck. One of these bitches look like they drive a truck. Drive so a what? truck. A truck. They work for Walmart. And if you think we stopping, then we ain't even gonna start. Your bitches in the club. Your bitches at the house. You ain't got your eyelashes done. You need them out. I said, go bean. This is something that needs to be said. My homeboy got mad because he got shot in the lid. Now he walk with a limp. But it looks so cool, but don't nobody know the story. They some goddamn fools. Well, they some goddamn fools. I'm trying to get a little leaner. My homeboy got shot in his pointer finger. And now we only got nine fingers. In fact, it feel funny when I get my homeboy dap. Your homeboy got shot, but my homeboy is so colder. Nigga shot him in his arm, it came out his shoulder. Now every time you see him like that, he just be sitting up. But he can't help that fact. He can't help that fact. Yeah, he might get past. I got a gangster homeboy that got shot in his ass. And now he walked 
like he beats working. But if you say something, then you best to get to working. My homeboy got shot and the niggas didn't miss. Three times now he hold his arm like this. But he's still a gangster. You think that I'm wrong. He still pulled a pistol with the hand that's strong. The hand that's strong. That mean he is a pimp. My homeboy got shot, now he walk with the limp. But he still got hoes, and he still buy clothes. And you already know this one is for all of the bros. Hey, my homeboy got shot one night at a party. So he don't trust nobody, he got bullets in his body. They shot him in the foot, they shot him in the knee. I'm glad I wasn't with him, they probably shot me. They probably shot you, but you ducked all the drama. I got a homeboy who got shot by his baby mama she say she caught him cheating and he was trying to leave she hit him in the pop 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 in both knees a lot of homeboys you you know i got them my other homeboy she his baby mama shot him shit for no reason sitting in the car she got mad and started shooting out the bar shooting out the bar you know it get real my homeboy got shot by his grandma for stealing pills and you know that she hustling all around the block that shit had the whole neighborhood in shock hey my other homeboy he gave up the streets he got a damn job getting paid every week and that's a sad story he part of the mob he gave up the streets and got shot at his job shot at his job right after he made bail you already know these are the tales that we tell you know it's going down it's never going up and if you get shot hope your insurance is up Woo! yes indeed shit. We got Schooly in the building. Yes, sir. We got Schooly in the building. Uh, who you say? We got Schooly in the building. S K O O L Y. Schooly in the building with these two fly guys. And it's the 85. And we gon' take it high. This for the people at home. Yeah, you're stuck inside. We gon' keep it going, and we gon' keep it flowing. We bring that content to your home, cause you know we know it, just what you need. So sit here with me and Carlos Bernard, cause that is my G. Woo, woo, let's them go. niggas, you know that we are them. Schooly in them is my partner them. Hey, partner them. Partner hey, them. Partner, them. Partner, them. partner them. Partner them. Partner them. Shout out to my partner them. Yeah, 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 man. We right here with the one and only Schoolie, brother what DC do? Young Flat, and came in and kick it with us. Yeah. Everybody doing what they do, rolling up, man. Schoolie, man, that was amazing, man. And you still got some more to do, but we appreciate you coming and kicking it with us, man. We've been fans for a minute. Yes, indeed. I appreciate y'all. I've been fans of y'all for a minute, you know, when I found out that y'all were fucking with me, you know. You know what's going on? Yeah. Shit was likewise. Shit was reciprocated. That shit was, you remember the first time I came up there with y'all? Yeah. Yeah. Mm. That's so, what it is. I can't wait to do this anyway. I'll be watching y'all. Well, you didn't just perform a couple songs, man. You got the mixtape coming out on the 22nd called Nobody Likes Me. Why that title? Because we Bullshit, like Bullshit, everybody. Yeah, I was about to say, did we fuck with you? Why you do that? You just Talk reverse shit, psychology? Man. Nah, like, uh, just to be honest, like, like, I know y'all, I know y'all fuck with me, like, I know y'all like me. I know, you know what I'm saying? Like right. on some shit like that, but it's like I done been through so much shit in my life and up to this point, you know what I'm saying? And half of that shit been fake, you know what I'm saying? Like it go for family, it go for just humans, you hear me? Like period, like, um, like I haven't got the shot I deserve to edit. I wouldn't necessarily even say the shot. I just feel like I ain't, I haven't. Recognition. recognition. Yeah, like, like recognition you know that you saying? deserve. Oh. I don't know who Schoolboy is. You just, you just ain't yeah. feel like you got a shot to really show him like yeah. what you capable of. Yeah. But even and and uh, even on top of that, like, it's a lot of people that don't know who I am in real life. You know what I'm saying? That don't know. Tell you know them who you are. And I understand that. Tell them who I, you are I, right I, you know, now. I'm okay with that, but I'm schooly. 
Talk your shit. School boy. Uh, I'm from the west side of Atlanta. Um, I've been doing this for maybe 10 plus years. Um, I started rapping at like 2007, 2008 um, in school. You know, uh, I was in a group called Rich Kids. Um, I'm sure people that know me or follow me um, they know that. Um, shout out to everybody that was in the group. And, you know, I just, I feel like I could call myself. I feel like, you know, I'm, I'm, of, I'm established enough to say, and people believe that I'm, I'm an icon. I became a, uh, a, if if not everywhere, I became a, a, a south southern, southeastern region, southwestern region, southeastern region icon. If you want to put it like that, all this this chitlin circuit, like for the children, people that that didn't want to rap at first and then started, you know, like because they saw me up there, they got confidence, you know. And, and I ain't saying it's like I'm boasting, like right, I'm saying, right. like I'm saying like. I appreciate that I was able to give people confidence, you know what I'm saying? Like to, okay, damn, like what I mean by it, I'm saying like, damn, like, boy, he can do that, but I can do that. This go for all ages though, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I feel like just groups came after us. Definitely after us, started a like lot after us though, like, like you was, all, we was already grouped though, like, but we was already grouped. Like he, he know, he seen, he seen his life from ground up too. Like, like we, it, we, we, we we was like the first group. We was in school. Right. Like we was in school. We weren't we weren't really on the rap scene for real. Like like we know what it is now. Like we was in school and we was just going rap, to folks' studio. Shout out DJ Plug. Like we was going to people's studio recording. You know like but it wasn't. You know what I'm saying? But it was a lot of we was already grouped and it just seemed like when 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 we went to the next level, the rich kids, it made people feel like, boy, I can do that, boy. Them boys can do that, boy. We went in real club that we know, like the hood being that the hood we from, like everybody from every side coming to Crucial. Like this one, this is just one of the club. Like we performing, like I gotta go to school in the morning. Mm -hmm. Like I gotta go to school in the morning. They pushing us off stage. Soon as we do our first performance, like Tilt made them let us in. Boom, 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 boom. Like these folk love her, like, like that shit that. It, I just appreciate, you know what I'm saying? Like people that be fucking with me, like genuinely. You know, because I'm a, that's the type of nigga I am. Right. You know so what I'm saying? What, what you feeling like you ain't get the rec, haven't gotten the recognition that you deserve as of yet, mm -hmm. what keep you pushing? Like, because that can be, that can debilitate a lot of artists and make you quit, but what keep you going and, and, and making the music that you making? Um, debilitate me. To be honest about that, uh, it's both the good and the bad type thing. Like, um, when people, don't like me, like I say, or you know what I mean by that, or um, when even when when people do support me, like I just said, like that that's fuel to my fire, like all that, like especially when a person don't don't like me or don't want me to succeed in a manner, you know, like because I feel like I'm a person like uh, like in just regular life. As soon as a person t call you broke, or uh, you ain't gonna be shit, like we was just talking about. You instantly turn up. Like, I don't give a damn. Like, long as you you a real, you a real one. Like, as soon as a, a, another person just call you broke, like, you ain't for no reason, like, you know, them, them words that don't come with a receipt, like, that's hate. You know what I'm saying? That's hate on what you got going on. That's hate on, you know what I'm saying? What you stand for, like, you broke. You ain't gonna be nothing. Like, you, I feel like you instantly turn up because I've been through these situations. Every time, I, I'm, I, I mean, literally every time a person has said those words to me, I've sprouted right after. You know what I'm saying? A change came, you know? And it's something bad always happened before something good happened. Always. So like, always. That shit is. The so office before the sunrise. Right. So even, because I know, I watch, I sit back and watch a lot of motherfuckers just from the city. Like, that was hot, had a name and going crazy, bro. Talking about hitting Molly Ball all day, gang. You dig what I'm saying? Do you feel <clears throat> like you take fault for anything that went going on as career-wise? Because I ain't gonna lie, you been in the game for a long shit. Probably like a couple years before I actually started when shit just got for real, for real. I'm like 08, 09. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And y'all sprouted the whole young kids rapping at that time in school and was literally like, <laughs> if you wanted to have it, you didn't have a yeah. crew, and if y'all wasn't rapping, 
Oh, if y'all weren't even doing the shit that y'all was rapping about, huh. y'all weren't talking about shit. You dig what I'm saying? So even throughout that journey from back then, do you take any fault for your, you know what I'm saying, career for how it went? Um, That's a lot of I, don't know, I, don't, I don't know if I ever told nobody this. I feel like rich kids, we were spoiled into the game. Mm. Because we was really in school, like you saying, like, and I feel like at that, at that year, with the music, I know it's around the world, it's global, but right. I'm saying like the Atlanta scene, it ended up being what it is today because it was on the way, it was on the verge already. So like, I feel like the Atlanta scene, for the Atlanta scene, it was schools. It was at, that, uh, at that year, them specific years, like I feel like them moments, it was, everything was connected to schools, like right. high schools more, middle schools too, because they had football too, you understand what I'm saying? Like, and gangsters like football. Mothers like football, fathers like football. So it's a like, broad audience. Like, so like uh -huh. it was a, it was a, the audience, like street niggas was coming to games, you know what I'm saying? Anyway, this is, anyway, this is regular life. So like, it might be street niggas as fathers to the children that's in these games, like, but either other than that, like other street niggas, like they coming, not even necessarily saying they betting or nothing, right. just they coming to support, you know what I'm saying? So like, anything that we had going on, the city was coming to fuck with that shit. So like, and we was like, kind of like, we became like kings because of that, because we was in the mix of the schools. Right. Not even just AP, too, yeah, yeah, in the city that I come from, not even just APS, it was just children all worldwide. the schools, just children worldwide. Like they loved us already and we were really in school. So like the literal school shit, that we have to go to or games that they have, like we gotta go to, like we're gonna see all these people and we put out this music and, that they like and they really finna see us cause we really go to school. So like, I just feel like it was just a, like a, the world, it was the world of it, like no matter where it was, the club, the real club, somebody from like the high school, it, it, it came from there. Like, it, you know what I'm saying? Like it was, they was playing some music from us, like in Crucial, if we weren't even there, like they was playing it. We was in school the next day. We was in school the day before that. Like, they playing our music in Crucial though. We won't, we can't go in Crucial for real. Like, I just feel like the music scene had a lot to do with the youth right. at that point. You know what I'm saying? And I feel like we was in the middle of that, and we knew a lot more than the average people that our average young young that I was out our, our age. Yeah, I was like, out Cause I was the youngest, but. They were still young. Kayla and them were still young. They was under 18. They was 18. Like, so I just feel like we were spoiled in the game. We knew more. We knew what not to do earlier than we were supposed to know. Right. You know I'm not saying that's wrong, but we knew a little more. So, like, that kind of, that kind of scared people. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, like, I'm going to keep it all the way real. Like, we went through black ball situations, like, Real black ball situation. Like the mayor knew about this shit. Senior Reed knew about this shit. Like, and I, I just remember, I remember I had to fuck around and perform the club A Reed. I didn't even know he was in the booth. Uh -huh. He just ducked out with his squad in the booth. I just go out there and do my motherfucking thing. He hit me up, nigga. Like, hey boy, you know what I'm saying? I heard some people like, hey boy, school. I heard school was in the club. And still, schooling was had that. Hey, still was, bro. You know what I'm saying? He ain't changed. A like that's a, that's a, that's another one. You like, like you said, you can pull this stuff up. Like we in that, we come from that era. Like he ain't changed, bro. That man, was, he got video, bro. Him just shirt off, like showing his skinny muscles the same way. <laughs> like we do. Like we West Side <laughs> niggas. That's that what we do. Hey, like mad, the real mad. Like he done changed though. Like like he like he in real life, bro. Like I watched him. Like his stories, like the true, the real one, Tr one. Like, That's real, what you call full like, circle like right he, here. He, he really done change. Like Shawty used to be on some on some more shit. Like he wanted, you know what I'm saying? Like he would he could have took it there. You know what I'm saying? He changed for the better. Yeah, like yeah. for real, Shawty was a real yeah. 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 We ain't even. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You tell a lot of niggas, man. Look, like, school is real. Like, we, you got you to gotta still give us some more performance, man. So, you know, salute to you, man. We got another performance you great bless oh, us gee. with. 
Hey, May 22nd, always, always welcome. May 22nd, nobody likes me, man. Make sure you get May that. Don't be May late, 22nd. children. May you understand 22nd. what I'm saying? Make your bitch turn around, see what she turning down, man. She peeking, she ain't speaking. We gotta make them talk, you understand what I'm saying? <laughs> These shit niggas speak side. another language, shit we in this side, bitch. Man. <laughs> shit, west side, man. 80 vibes. This song right here is very detrimental to me. Um, it's called Soul Search. And that's all I'm gonna tell you about it, you hear me? But uh, I believe in my band behind me, you hear me? I want y'all to give them a round of applause for me, please. And I say that to say, I think, you know what I'm saying? We got it. Stadium. 
Appreciate y'all. That was Soul Search. Um, I'm still vibing up here, you hear me? <laughs> I don't even want to stop, you hear me? Oh, no, 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 I'm going to bring you in. I'm going to make you come. Mm. Save me some. I'm just trying to make you piss. I'm just trying to make you blush. I'm a dog. West side. West side all day. <laughs> From the west side with love. Yeah. Nobody likes me. Blair from the top. Blair from the top. Said I'm looking for a lady right now, right now. Always scared to take a trip downtown, downtown. Said I'm looking for a lady right now, right now. Who ain't scared to take a trip downtown, downtown? I say, slob on me, slob on me, go like <coughs> on my meat. Slob on me, slob on me, go like <coughs> on my meat. Slob on me, slob on me, go like <coughs> on my meat. Slob on me, slob on me, go like <coughs> on my. Can you beat my nasty chick? <coughs> Looking for a lady right now, right uh -huh. now. Who ain't 
scared to go downtown, downtown. I say that slob on me, slob on me, go like oh my me, slob on me, slob on me, go like oh my me, slob on me, slob on me, go like oh my me, oh my, oh my, oh my. All in the middle of the street, hey, she done got a slob on me, hey, go, she done slob straight to her knees, okay, I can even see my feet, let's go. I So nasty, she went down on her knees, okay. came up on all on me. I was feeling freaky. Damn. She said, Hey, I said no. She said, Stop. I, I said, go. No. I was like, What it do? She was come, like, come I love on. you. I keep going. I don't stop. Come, I keep rocking. I don't on. stop. We keep going. She keep dropping. She I, went, I, 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 I don't stop. My toes curl, my toes girl. She is now I'm my whole right world. Now. I keep going. We keep flowing. That's how we do it. Over the free, I break the back. Over the free, I'm in the back. I with some freaks, I'm in the back. I'm getting geek. I'm with ghetto, uh, ghetto, uh. You know the fellow, uh. Do a real swallow, uh. Yeah, I'm the fellow, uh. Yeah. yeah. I get, yeah. I yeah. get, yeah. Uh, well, I get, yeah. Uh, rock it, yeah. yeah. In the bed with my homeboy, Schooly. Yeah. You already know what we doing. Okay. About to bring the vibe to the good people with the Eddie Vibe Show. When you know we ain't losing. Uh. Big timing, big timing, big rhyming, big shining, big doing it. Uh. You know I ain't playing. You know I ain't playing. Oh, no you, know you know I ain't saying no names. Uh. Big timing, big timing, big timing. Yeah, we big timing. And the homeboy with my boy, Schooly. Uh. About to do it to me, no We on I-85. I-85. Hey, yeah. I-85. I-85. Ladies and gentlemen, are you tired of not being fly as you can be? Are you tired of not looking the best that you can look? Are you tired of walking around and people not asking you where you got that? Well, you need to change where you got that and come get some of what we got. And that's the 85 South Show Apparel at 85apparelcompany.com. That's where you go to get all this fly shit we got on right here. Look, pull the pants out, man. You pull the pants out. Look, 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 look. Don't he look like he great go on the first day of school? Ain't even no school. Lady, <coughs> print friendly. Yeah, whatever he just said. I ain't with all that shit, but I am with the selling of the merchandise. So make sure you go to 85apparelcompany.com to get you some of this fresh gear. Like my man E-Man here. We ain't got the hair wraps yet, but we gonna get them. 